Okay, here we go. I got the car into the garage. I put it up on some uh, some ramps here just so I'd have a little bit more space to work, uh, for example, getting under the front bumper. But if we take a look at the car, uh, it has a very small hood. There's not a whole lot under it because it is a rear-wheel drive electric car. Uh, of course, on the Tesla, they have a, uh, a trunk up in front, and on this car, it is instead just a, uh, it's a very short car. But if we can look right down here, let's see if I can get a view. Uh, it's kind of in front of the radiator. Back behind the, this cover, there's actually a fair amount of space in front of the radiator. Let's see if I can get my hand in there. So on the other side of the bumper cover, there's actually, there's a steel plate in there. And I'm just gonna mount this basically right here on the other side of the bumper cover, right in front of the radiator. But first I gotta get this whole bumper cover off. So without the front bumper on, we can uh, see a little more easily the space. This uh, piece of white metal here already even has some holes in it, so that'll uh, make it a little easier to mount. And there's a fair amount of space between that plate, which is in front of the radiator, and uh, behind the front bumper. Plenty of room to put that heater in there. Lots of space. So we're at the front of the car. This is a plate right in front of the radiator. It already has some holes in it. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any two that line up with the four holes in the bracket, but up here, that's a nice looking hole. So maybe I'll just start off, I'll use that as a mounting point, and then I'll drill another one here. But unfortunately on the bottom, uh, both bottom holes kind of meet this little curve. So that might be a little hard to drill. Maybe I'll try some uh, self-tapping sheet metal screws, see how that works. But I think I'll temporarily start just by running a bolt through here to uh, test fit the heater. Okay, so with just that one bolt in for testing, I can get the heater in here, get it on that bracket. It goes about like that. And I can already uh, see a couple potential issues. One is, uh, this is the fuel in. I might need to put a little right angle adapter on there because it's really close to the top piece of metal. The other uh, kind of bigger deal is that right down here, this hole, is where a long bolt is supposed to go through the heater uh, to hold it onto the bracket. And with this piece of metal in the way, uh, no way am I going to be able to get that through there. So it, what it looks like I'm going to have to do is put the heater onto the bracket first, put this bolt all the way through into there, uh, and install the heater with the bracket into position. And I think I should be able to do that with just a couple of short bolts right here. Okay, so what I've done here is I drilled three holes, one at the top, I reused one of the original holes, and then two at the bottom, 5 sixteenths bit. Um, I punched, pre-drilled pre with a smaller drill, then used a larger drill, used 5 sixteenths so I can use quarter 20 bolts and still have a little bit of slop room around them. And the reason why is here's the bracket um, that goes in there no problem. Here's a little quarter 20 bolts, and then I have uh, also a... Uh, a rubber washer on there which will hopefully help uh, act as a shock absorber so uh, the trouble here is I've got this really long mounting bolt which goes through the heater and it holds it onto this plate um, but I can't put that on once the uh, bracket is in there because the entire bumper is in the way so I got to put uh, the heater onto the bracket put this big bolt through then put the whole bracket on and then put the nuts on the back Bracket on the back, try to line up that bolt hole. Okay, heater's held in place. Got bolts on the back here, and then I'll use a uh, nylock, not uh, nylock nuts to put it on. Okay. Here we go, up under the bumper. And 
and then find those holes that I drilled. And it's going to be going about there. Okay, I just got the heater itself mounted, and it's, it's kind of hard to tell where it is with still photos. Moving video should hopefully make this a little easier. Um, basically, here's the front bumper. The heater is right behind the bumper, just below a, a crossbar. Um, and if we look straight down, there's, you know, a little bit of room. It's got clearance. Likewise, right behind it is the radiator. And uh, I've got a couple of inches back down here, too. Maybe from the end we can see it a little bit better. So there is the heater behind the front bumper under this cross piece and still in front of the radiator. Here you can see the, uh, the bracket that mounts the heater. So there's the heater, um, air intake and exhaust, bumper, heater, a plate, and then behind that is the radiator.